Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to make Excel calculate division with remainders. So I've got a spreadsheet set up here and I've, I've started to enter a, a few things in. And um, what I'm going to do is, um, is use a formula that, that, can, that allows you to determine the remainder when you do a division. So in column B I've got the numerator. In column C I've got the denominator or the divisor. In column D, I'm going to have the remainder. And what that is, it's a function called the mod function. I think it's short for modulo, and, or maybe modulus. And it's, it's equal to, or you, you enter in for any formula, you enter equal, and then it's MOD is the formula. And you type in open parentheses, and it's looking for the number, which means in our case it's the numerator. It's the number we want to divide, divide into something and the number we want to divide it into is the divisor so we type a comma and then now Excel is prompting us for the second uh, item in the formula and that's the divisor and so in our case I'd entered in a 5 so we enter, you know, we click on cell C2 and then we close the function with a close parentheses hit return and um, so 1 divided by 5 uh, has a remainder of one, so the you know the it's it's zero with a remainder of one. The thing we care about is the remainder. So I'm going to just copy these this numerator formula down. Uh, and we, if the nice thing about Excel is if you have two numbers like this that you know are different by two, and you select them both and you drag down, Excel knows that you want to increment everything by that same amount. So let's go down to about 14 here, and let's divide them all by five. And so we go here, and actually if we go double click it just copies that number all the way down to, until it encounters a blank space and now this in this is what we're here for is take this formula and drag it down and we can see that each of these numbers is the numerator divided by the denominator and here's the remainder so 1 divided by 5 has a remainder of 1 2 divided by 5 has a remainder of 2 uh, working our way up 5 divided by 5 is 1 with a remainder of 0 6 divided by 5 is 1 with a remainder of 1, and, and so on and so on. So you can see a nice repeating pattern here. Every time you get to the fifth number, the, the pattern repeats itself. Um, so the whole point here is that this mod formula allows you to calculate the remainder when you do a division in Excel. So I hope this has been helpful. This is Ted, and today I showed you how to use Excel to calculate the uh, remainder in division. Thank you for watching.